Modifying a Moog Spectrovox. The Moog Spectrovox is a vocoder which consists of an anal analysis section and then a modulation section. The analysis section takes the input on the program and splits it into 10 bands. Those ten, the amplitude of those 10 bands is converted to a voltage and the voltage appears at the top end of these controls here in the middle. The wiper from each of these of these controls is then used to control the voltage control amplifier, which follows a filter, another filter bank, which is processing the carrier input. And so basically the input sound spectrum is, is taken from the program and applied the carrier. So if you have a voice, then the spectral characteristics of the voice will be transferred to the what's on the carrier, and depending on the frequency range of the carrier, you may get some typical classical vocoder, or you might just get some other interesting effects. So for this mod, the analysis voltages for each channel have been wired up to the top 10 sockets here and the wires the wipers which go to the modulation section are connected to these sockets here um, in this design there's you have to be careful not to plug an input on an input when this is down at zero otherwise you'll basically short out the input and depending on how much current flows you you could ruin the uh, variable resistor. So anyway, so the in when it's being used with the, a, a program input, the top level sockets can have control voltages which are basically the spectral outputs from the program and the inputs can be used to control the modulation section which, the ca which processes the carrier. So a simple example is I have a Mo grandmother and the gray wire here comes from the mixer output on the grandmother and I have this wire which is the envelope output of the grandmother and I can plug it into the low pass filter component. So what you hear there is that the sequencer is playing a simple and that is the low pass the low pass in the modulation section is being used to modulate fre frequency manipulate the output from the Moog so the basically this, this the Spectrovox is now acting as the filter for the Moog grandmother and it's also the voltage control on here is also affecting not only the amplitude of this low pass filter, but I'm also using another input which can shift the uh, frequency up and down in, vo in f as well as amplitude we do frequency shifting. <laughs> Now we're not limited to using just one control voltage. We obviously have 10 banks, so we can put another control voltage from a different source. And what this source is, is it's the voltage controlled oscillator output. So that's the ramp. modulate it with the, the voltage control. So we have a voltage control and we have an envelope control. So we can have multiple different bands. Um, if I had more um, um, processing units, like antenuverters, we could then have a quite complicated patch. And then with multiple envelope generators, we can have the spectral going, spectral characteristics going all over the place. Anyway, so I don't have that yet, but
So the LFO is also synced to the sequencer. So when I run the sequencer, we can sort of combine the two. So we can try multi different bands. So there's a lot of possibilities that get for some very interesting uh, effects which you just can't get with just a pure low pass. So we could go up the other end. So we can now use the spectra box of the voltage controlled high pass filter. So it's a very simple mod, just requires some soldering and there's no other electronics, no new electronics involved. But it does provide quite a lot of fun. So if you have a Spectrovox, this is something you can try on your own. <laughs> 